a powerful, super liberal woman named Maud took the country by storm. In our version, we look in as her husband and daughter wait for her to come home. And then there's Broad. And then there's Broad. And then there's Broad. Walter, there's a chorus on the front porch. Yeah, I know. I'd invite them in, but they're all wasps. You know, your mother prefers integrated groups. <laughs> By the way, it's getting late. Where is Broad? I'm getting hungry. I must be Broad now. And then there's Broad. Get off my porch or I'll cut your hearts out. <laughs> Why don't you get some Mexican-Americans in your group? <laughs> At least she's in a good mood. <laughs> Walter, before you say anything, do me a favor and shut up. Hi, Mom. Hello, sweetheart. God forbid you should get up off the couch and tend to that son of yours nobody ever sees. Hi, bro. Did you Walter, have a good... butt out. I'm in no mood. <laughs> And get lost, Walter. I don't want you around while I interview the new maid. A new maid? Hey, that's great. Maybe we'll get some supper around here. Is the maid going to be black, Mother? Carol! What difference does it make if she's black or white? She's a human being. And I treat all human beings alike. Walter, don't slouch and get <laughs> lost! <laughs> get it. God forbid you should get up off the couch. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for coming here all the way from the ghetto. Talk about your ghettos. Oh, I've been so busy. I just haven't had the time to clean up. Can you ever forgive me? No. I don't blame you. Now, let's get something straightened right off. I don't do windows, drapes, beds, or dishes. And why should you? And I'm not a maid or a housekeeper. I'm a domestic engineer. Yes, your grace. Yes. Oh, just a new maid. Domestic engineer, you honky. <laughs> now, come here and sit down. Now, would you mind telling me your name, sweet lady? But if it's too personal, you don't have to because I don't mean to pry. <laughs> My name's New Jersey. <laughs> the Garden State. Why don't you have her bronzed? <laughs> God will get you for that, war. Well, I think I'll get up off the couch and go tend to that young son of mine nobody ever sees. Well, I got to get to work. Table dusty. I said the table was dusty. Walter. All right, all right. Disgusting. Walter, uh, Walter, the carpet is all disgusting. All right, all right, <laughs> Oh, I, I just can't look at the kitchen. That's just about it for today. My money, please. Money for what? Walter, give the lady a check before I rip your nose off. Yes, yes. Now then, New Jersey, will I see you tomorrow? No way. I'll not come back to this pigsty. Look at the way it's kept. Oh, well, I'm so sorry, but, but what can I do about it? Get rid of him. Uh, I'll certainly think about it. Walter, you are going to have to shape up or ship out. Why are you constantly humiliating me? Walter, you can't see the injustice in this world, can you? And do you know why you can't see it, Walter? It's because you are a miserable little creature with absolutely no redeeming social value whatsoever. Then why don't you divorce me? <laughs> I love you, Walter. You, 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 Walter. <laughs> if I didn't love you, would I have your name tattooed on my chest? <laughs> 
guess not. There you are. So what's the problem? Sometimes I think that our roles have been reversed, that I'm not the man in the family anymore. Walter, no. How can you say that? Walter, come here, darling. Sit down. I want to talk to you. I want you to know, sweetheart, that in spite of our political differences, you are still very much the man in this family. Really? Oh, of course. In fact, Walter, you bring out all my feminine instincts. Why don't you uh, run upstairs and slip into something comfortable? I feel romantic. Come on, Walter. Broad, I, I've got a headache. Walter, I told you I'd feel romantic.